If your game keeps stuttering and you get low FPS or FPS drops on your PC or laptop, this video is the one for you. Because I'm gonna show you how to boost FPS, fix stutters and FPS drops by optimizing your Windows PC without any BS. So let's get right into it. Starting off, we are gonna be disabling memory compression. Windows tries to compress data on memory in order to free up RAM. However, this in turn increases the CPU load and hence you get micro stutters and FPS drops. To fix this, simply go down to your start menu and search for PowerShell. Then run it as administrator and inside of here you need to type in get dash mm agent and then hit enter. You can find all of these commands from the description. Inside of here if the memory compression says true then it is turned on. So we need to disable this and to do that you will need to type in disable dash mm agent and then space dash memory and compression. Then hit enter and it should be disabled. Now if I go ahead and type in get mm agent. As you can see, the memory compression is set to false now. Next up, we are gonna be disabling a lot of useless Windows services that keep running in the background and using the CPU and GPU resources. These services are especially detrimental to low-end PCs where the resources are already limited. So to disable them, go down to your start menu and search for services, then open it up. Inside of here, the first one that we're gonna be disabling is called SysMain. If you hover over it, it says maintains and improves the system performance over time. However, it does this by caching a lot of system data and storing application data into the memory just so you can open a few apps a little bit quicker. However, since this is constantly running in the background, it's one of the major reasons that you're getting micro stutters and FPS drops. So to improve the gaming performance, right click on it and go to properties. Inside of here, click on stop to stop it from running and then we're gonna set the startup type to disabled, then hit apply and hit ok. Now do the same thing for all of these services that are listed on your screen, just go ahead, stop them and disable them. You can pause the video here or go ahead and disable all of these services and then come back for the next step. Alright, now that I believe you have disabled all of those useless services, let's unlock the hidden Windows Ultimate Performance Power Plan. It will not only help you get more FPS, but it will also fix any micro stutters that are caused due to power related configurations. So to unlock this hidden power plan, you will need to go down to your start menu and search for CMD. Then run it as administrator and inside of here, simply copy and paste this command from the description. Then hit enter and now you will have the Ultimate Performance Power Plan. To apply it, you will need to go down to the start menu once more and search for edit power plan. Then go ahead and open it up, go into the power options and under the show additional plans you will have the ultimate performance power plan. So simply click on it and that's it. Now you can close both of these. Now there are a lot of optimizations and tweaks that you can apply to boost the performance of your system. However doing all of that manually can take hours so I have created this low end optimization pack for you that you can download from my website. The link will be in the description. Once you have it downloaded open it up and we're gonna be starting off with the CPU optimization. Inside of here you will find the CPU priority and depending on your CPU whether you have an AMD CPU or an Intel CPU, open up the folder and apply the registry file that is inside of it. This is going to make sure that your CPU is prioritizing games instead of other applications. Then go back into the CPU optimizations and run the MSI utility as an admin. Inside of here select your GPU and check the MSI box then set the interrupt priority to high and then click on apply. Then close out of this, right click on unpack CPU and run it as admin. Inside of here, make sure that the system power plan is set to ultimate performance and the core parking index is set to 100%. Then hit apply, ok and you can close out of this. Moving on to GPU optimizations. Inside of here, the first one is clear.pat, right click on it and run it as admin. This is going to clear all of the GPU cache, ensuring that the older built up cache does not affect your performance. Now for these two, you will need to apply the one depending on your system specs. If you are not sure about this, leave a comment down below with your specs and I'll tell you which one to apply. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna apply the low medium end optimization. Now we can move on to the windows optimizations. Starting off by disabling game DVR. Both of these will make sure that the game bar is completely turned off and none of its processes remain running in the background, especially the game bar presence writer. Next up is disable spectre and meltdown which are security patches that are no longer required by windows since modern browsers come with their own security patches hence these are just useless running in the background. Then disable the searching will disable driver searching with windows updates, it will not only help you improve windows performance but it will also make sure that you are not getting any outdated drivers. Disable prefetch will of course disable prefetch however for older systems with only hard drives and no ssds I wouldn't recommend using this one. However if you have an ssd then simply go ahead and disable prefetch. Disable startup delay will start the explorer as soon as possible instead of the default delay. Full screen fix will make sure that all of your games run in exclusive full screen which is known to give you more fps and reduce input lag. Then game optimizations are the generic game priority optimization 
optimizations and power optimizations will change some of the AC and DC indices as well as turn off power throttling to ensure that you don't get low FPS at high power usage. Going back into the pack, let's move on to the telemetry optimizations. Inside of here is one of the best software to disable Microsoft telemetry and spying services and despite its name, it does work on Windows 11 as well. So right click on it and run it as admin. Then all you need to do is click on actions and then click on apply only recommended settings. It will ask you to create a system restore point which you should always do but for the video I'm gonna click no and there it is all of these settings have been applied simply close out of this and then it says that these changes will be reverted at windows update and you will need to apply these once again hit yes and now we can go back and open up the keyboard and mouse optimizations the hover time will reduce the time it takes for you to hover over something and the tooltip to show the keyboard queue size reduces the time it takes between you pressing the keyboard key and the action registering on your system this can really help you in competitive games so make sure that you apply this one then menu show delay basically reduces the time it takes when you right click on something and this menu shows up mouse fix improves the mouse curves to ensure smoother mouse input and mouse queue size will do the same thing as the keyboard queue size helping you reduce the mouse input delay and once you are done with all of these you can delete the pack or keep it it's really up to you then finally i have some general tips for you to ensure that you're getting the most performance out of your system the first tip is to make sure that you always have at least 10 percent of your c drive or the windows drive completely free yeah i know i need to take my own advice which i will be doing to free up some space you can always right click on the drive go to properties and run the disk cleanup then delete anything that you don't need and that should help you recover some space next one is to make sure that your gpu is in thermal throttling so right click on the taskbar and go to task manager then under the performance click on your gpu and check out the gpu temperature while you are gaming ensure that this temperature is always below 85 degrees so your gpu doesn't thermal throttle because when the temperature goes too high windows will lower your gpu performance in order to save the gpu from damage this will of course cause a lot of stutters and lags which is not ideal another tip building off of this is to clean out the dust from your system from time to time it'll help improve the airflow and keep the temperatures down hence improving the overall system performance and if you play games on your laptop just make sure that your laptop is plugged in because laptops will always give you more performance plugged in instead of on battery and to get even more performance out of your system you can safely overclock your gpu by following this very simple guide and get even more fps in your games 